Okay, well, yesterday we found out Seattle ranks among the worst cities for air pollution. In a new yeah. report by the American Lung Association, Seattle came in at number nine, and one of the factors, wildfire smoke. That helps determine how bad the air gets every summer. Can we get rid of it completely? We hope so. So we have... Hillary Franz here. Is it Franz or is it Franz? It's Franz for public lands. Ooh, it rhymes. And so that is <laughs> who she is with, the Department of Natural Resources. Is that correct? That's right. Okay, perfect. And she's going to get us quick five tips. We're going to talk about a new state bill proposal. Uh, but first, we have a message from a famous animal bear. thing. Bear. Yes. It's his 75th anniversary. Is birthday. It? It's his 75th birthday this that. year. Well, here's, yes. here's what he has to say. <laughs> I did not realize that was you. I watched this on Twitter the other day and I was cracking up. I was like, this is I can so do that funny. Move. Yeah. Do you know, I don't know many dance moves. I'm going to just say, this was a test for me on how many dance moves. And the only one I can remember was the one from the Brady Bunch. And fortunately, <laughs> oh Smokey Bear is older than me, could kind of remember that. Smokey okay. the Bear. Yeah. All right, so let's get through the five tips yes. real yeah. quick. And these are, these are simple tips. A lot of us know these, but again, when it coming to camp season, mm -hmm. let's get through one through five. I think quick. the most important thing is, 90% of our fires are caused by humans. So we yeah. can do something. And first mm -hmm. is use a designated fire pit yeah. for your campfires. And do not, if you can't touch it, it's too hot to touch, don't leave it. You got to make sure those campfires are put out, right? Mm -hmm. Soak it and stir it. You just saw the message with Smokey, right? right? We, we often do that. Like I'll wake up in the morning and start a fire to cook breakfast. Right. And I'm like, oh, we got to go. No, we can't go until must, it's put out. Leave it. uh, mm. If you do see any type of fire, smoke, or anything like that, and there's no one around, obviously, do what you do, call 911. Right. That's tip number three. Angela, what's tip number yeah, four? Yeah, don't throw flammable items like cigarette butts out of your car. It seems yeah, like a no brainer, on. but yeah, it I happens. See people do it all the, the time. sides of our roads are very dry, oh. and one spark will actually easily lead to a thousand acre plus fire. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think the last is obviously our brush fires. We just had 54 fires in one Wasn't week in the second week of March, 53 crazy. west of the Cascades. A lot of them are brush fires. People really need to try to avoid doing brush fires. It is not as wet as it used to be. Yeah. It's been very dry spring as you noted by your weather report. Yeah, I know. And we're of, of course anticipating the uh, the wildfire outlook. The last couple of years have not been good here locally. So this new state bill, uh, I guess, break it down. What's the reason for it? And what is it? So first of all, we are already spending an enormous amount of money fighting fires, $153 million annually. So we're going to pay for a fire. The question is whether we're going to pay to react in the context of smoke and flames and danger for our communities and our firefighters, or we're going to pay to react, uh, to proactively yeah. prepare. That means treating our forests, getting on top of 1.25 million acres of forest to make them more resilient in the face of fire, and to actually get my firefighters and our state the research and equipment. We're still fighting our fires. We only have seven helicopters for the entire state. They all fought in the Vietnam War. That's how wow. old they are. I'm the, we run the largest wildfire fighting agency in the state. I only have 43 full-time firefighters. So we have not invested in the prevention of wildfire. Instead, we're spending all our money on the back end. And I say if we start to actually invest on the front end, we can actually treat those forests, get the product to the mills, create affordable housing and other opportunities here in our cities, and we can protect our communities and our firefighters. Okay, I think this sounds great to yeah, be proactive right. instead of reactive. Did this bill pass or is it still being negotiated as part of the budget? Where does everything we stand? We are in the final hours. Okay, so, so this down is there this morning. Revenue. So right now, a budget package has all probably, so far what we're hearing has largely been negotiated. There are still opportunities. We are down, I was just down there this morning. I was down there all day yesterday. We are working to try to make sure that we have dedicated revenue. So we've developed a wildfire prepared plan and a forest health plan for this state to set us ourselves up so the new normal is not what we saw last summer with all and that the summer smoke. Before. Right. Right. And, and the, the summer, summer before, before that where we had the worst air quality in the world. So we built those plans, but we need the legislature to create dedicated funding so year after year we have the investments being made because if we are every year begging for dollars, we can't implement sure. the plans. Mm -hmm. sure. So this is the opportunity right now. So where does the money come from? So right now the proposal for a dedicated revenue, right now at the state level, we have a 2% surcharge on insurance premiums in like Washington State, 2%. House insurance, home insurance? Property casualty. Okay. Um, so what we would do is increase it to 0.52% on property and casualty. So there's a direct nexus between protecting your homes, protecting your automobiles. That would generate $62.5 million a year that would go to treating 1.25 million acres of forests mm -hmm. and would also start 
to give us the resource and capacity to fight fires. So it would be from Washington property tax, an increase in property That's taxes. Right. Okay. Insurance it's premiums. A point, right, it roughly equates to about a little less than $2 a month per household. Okay. So when you think about it like that, like less than $2 a month, it doesn't, it's not bad at all. It is not. But and like, it spreads it. For me, you asked me last weekend, you're like, hey, Jordan, I want to go on a hike. Where should I go? And I was like, okay, let me see. Oh, but if you go here, it's a state park, so you need a state park pass. Oh, if you go here, you need Northwest Forest Pass. And so if we're in the woods, we're always having to pay for something to go play. And I know those are different departments, but I just want to see the difference. Because right now, yeah. I, I pay all this money to go out and play in the woods. I'm like, oh, I don't have to do this in other states. What, where's all this money going? Why isn't it used for forest prevention? Right. So I oversee and manage six million acres of land. Much of that is your recreation lands, whether it's your aquatic or your forest and hiking grounds. Yep. Federal government as well has a largest amount of recreation lands in Washington state. When you pay your Discover Pass in those, that yep. pays to actually manage and maintain those recreation areas. Everything from the restaurants and the roads and the trails, all of that, it takes wear and tear in Washington State. How much rain we get, how much snow we get. But his point was that other places he hasn't had to pay yeah. like he has to in pay other here. other states have yeah. never had to do that. Well, I would tell you, I'll bet other states don't have as much recreation area as we have. And number two, they also don't have the kind of wear and tear we have when it comes to weather. Other states also have done significant investments at the state level from the legislature, where they're putting significant revenue packages forward directly to it so it doesn't land. It comes from the general fund more, so it doesn't okay. land on a person, right? Got it. Every state has a different Got revenue it. scheme for how they're going to pay for it. Right. We've chosen the Discover Pass. That is specifically dedicated revenue that goes to managing those recreation areas. You're really you. good. Are you thinking about running for governor? <laughs> so that's a very interesting question. <laughs> so right now I am working tirelessly to get the dedicated funding that we need for our state. Um, okay. Obviously I will tell you every single day in my role I have people whose lives are on the line. Yeah. Whether it's our community members and we've already done evacuations this year from fire or whether it's our firefighters. And I, we are already predicting a very bad fire season. So my focus is number one on protecting the state, protecting our communities and protecting my firefighters. A lot of people are asking me, given my work across the state in our rural areas and our urban areas mm -hmm. and actually stepping up in some of the most dangerous, disastrous situations, mm -hmm. they are asking me to consider running for governor. Depending on what Jay does, mm -hmm. I am considering. Okay. okay. And working on our dance moves with Smokey the Bear. I got to work on those dance moves Thank you a lot so better. Much for being with us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Let's Thank hope you so for much. a better season yeah. this year. Thank you.